All right, what's going on everybody and or anybody? Just made a little road trip up north to North Carolina, clearly. I am not in Charleston anymore. I'm on Lake Norman outside of Charlotte, visiting my girlfriend's parents for Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a lake fishing series while I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna start out by doing some cat fishing primarily, some bass fishing. Apparently there's carp, I've caught gar here. There's a lot of stuff I don't normally catch that I have a chance to catch while I'm here. Uh, first things first, I gotta get some bait. I'm going after catfish primarily. I got the catfish poles all rigged up down there. And I'm uh, just gonna get some bluegill first, and then I can uh, start going after the big stuff. Stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy. Bye. I'm just starting out with a classic worm and bobber rig. I actually think I see one or two right in front of me right now. I'm starting with some red wigglers. I have night crawlers also, but I like to start with the small stuff because it's easier and you don't have to break them up as much. It's a pretty big one. So we got three poles that I'm going to do. All the hooks are the same. Uh, A-dot, circle hook, um, wide gap. So this one is a medium light, 20 pound line, half ounce egg sinker. This is actually a knocker rig, which I've never used for catfish. I'm interested to see how that works. I don't know why it wouldn't. And then two heavier ones with a 50 to 60 pound leader, or main line, 60 pound leader, same hook, three ounce egg sinker. So I can really huck it out there because the water level is low. And basically I'm gonna fan cast, like spread these out. So the medium light one will go pretty shallow so on and so forth. But first, got to cut up the bait here, get them baited up, and send them on their way. So I'm excited because usually in the fall, the uh, bigger cats move in shallow. So I'm hoping that we'll have a chance at something really big. I've caught some big ones here before. So there's the uh, small bait. That's the small bait. shallow so this one's gonna go out far so that guy will go there headpiece is definitely my favorite I feel like this could catch a monster right here all right and the finishing touch these guys so I don't actually have to pay attention this is probably what I like the most about catfishing. Lack of effort you really have to put in. You can try as hard as you want, but nothing beats just soaking a cut piece for as long as it takes. All right, well, we got the first fish hooked up here. That's a pull one. It's definitely hooked. It's been about 45 minutes or so. Oh, it's not bad. And you left my bait. <laughs> nice, pretty blue. Not very big, but something to start off. Peter loves a catfish. Good little start. Uh, 26. Whew. Nice little start though. All right, about two seconds after I just recast all these baits, this guy got picked up again. See that? Oh, yep, just like that. Really make sure to get a hook at him this time. guy feels a little different than the last two. Ah, because it's a channel. Uh, and he lost my bait. Action's action some days. <laughs> 
So both of these guys, first two landed, as well as the first three I've hooked, have been on the knocker rig. It's pretty cool. And as far as channels go, he's not bad size. All right, come on. I've caught much bigger ones here, so you a good eating size, but I'm not keeping them today. Just send them back. <laughs> All right, well, I was eating dinner and I looked up just in time to see this, this rod go off really hard. Oh gosh, this is a big one. Make sure I really get that hook in them. I definitely got that hook in him this time. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Is it a flathead? Might be a flathead. Yeah, it's a big flathead. Wow. This is the kind of bite I've been waiting for. Hope you guys can see that guy. He's not done yet. I gotta tire him out. That is a big flathead. That might be my biggest flathead yet. Oh gosh, he is not done. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that flathead. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> this is, oh, this is the caliber of fish I was hoping for tonight. Look at that thing. Tater, what do you think about that? That thing might weigh as much as you. I'm gonna have to grab this thing. It's too big for my net. Yeah. Oh my God, this thing's huge. Oh man. That, that is what I'm talking about. I was eating dinner and I looked out and this thing was on. That is definitely my biggest flathead yet. That is a 36 inch flathead. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. That's, that's probably, that? it's a flathead catfish. Oh my God. Look at this Woo! sucker. Watch it, watch it, Tate. Oh, hey, this is so like this that. Is, this is, like is the, what you noodle for. Oh, so there, there. get out of there. Look at the size of its mouth. <laughs> Oh my oh god, that, I was gonna say that's like noodling. Holy crap. So this is what I've been waiting for here. <laughs> this is I looked up and saw the rod, the heavy rod was bent over, and uh I came out and the light was gone. But if you look closely, the light's in the water down there. <laughs> this is definitely my biggest flathead. This is one of my biggest catfish ever. Uh I'm gonna let him go. This is awesome. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Damn. <laughs> All right, he doesn't need He's any time. He's ready to go, yeah. Yeah. All right, let go of my hand. <laughs> Dang. Look at him. He's just sitting there. This guy was pulling. There he is. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a big one. Right when I came out, this guy hit. Make sure I get that hook at him. This is a big one also. Oh, that's a good blue. Look at that guy. <laughs> Dang. I'm getting some good sized fish tonight. This is the first night here, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This guy might be bigger. Oh, this is a tank blue cat. All right, well now all three rods have caught a fish. Gosh, these blue cats pull hard too. Wow, let's get a measurement on him. He's probably about the same length as that uh, flathead I just caught. 34 to the fork, 36 if you go to the tip, but call him 34. That is a fat that blue cat look at this fish all right let's get a shot with him real quick oh. <laughs> oh. 
Look at the size of this fish. This is a, this is probably my PB blue also. It's so heavy. I don't have a scale, but I'm telling you, this is hard to hold up right now, guys. 34 inches, but look at that gut. <laughs> wow. I hope this is showing up well on the GoPro. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. Not bad for a first night of catfishing. Holy, it's only, it's not, it just hit seven o'clock, like five minutes ago. All right, so it is about 7.45. I know it looks like it's the middle of the night, but I've only been fishing for a few hours now. It's been dark for about two hours and uh, I'm ready to go ahead and call it for tonight. I caught four catfish tonight, which is awesome for the first night. Um, especially since I only had a few hours to get bait and stuff like that, get situated. Uh, I only got in at three, so uh, and probably started fishing around 3.30 or so. But um, two of those fish were huge. Uh, got my PB flathead, which was awesome. That was a really strong fish. Uh, very glad he didn't break me off or anything like that. And then I got a big blue cat that was close to my PB if it wasn't. It was really fat, uh, 34 inches, had to be 30 pounds. That thing was heavy. It was hard to pick up compared to the flathead. Um, but yeah, the good night. I got broke off once or twice, missed a couple of good fish that were definitely big. So um, there's a lot of fish moving around tonight. Hopefully I can get some more good ones tomorrow. I love catfishing. It's just hard to do in South Carolina, uh, at least near the Charleston area. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good night. Remember to make some time for fishing. Bye.